Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> uh, I've got something else to show you. I have a finish over here. And uh, well, when I got back from my ski trip, as you can see, I still have my sunglasses marked on my face. Uh, I showed you the update of my Heaven and Earth designs, Anna Dittman. And I just wanted to show you the size of Nefertiti compared to Mini Caged. <laughs> I'll insert a clip in here. Okay guys, look. <laughs> There's Nefertiti. It's just behind her face and then like this. Okay, and then I had seen this one again and that's the danger of unboxing. I was like, oh, I want to work on it. So I put my other projects aside. <laughs> I kitted this one up and I did this one. <laughs> and I decided to make it a fun project. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to show you a quick re-unboxing not with many details and then what I did after that and then at the end I'll give you the post review so enjoy hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi welcome I'm Lisette and guys I'm going to try something new on my channel. You know, I always like a challenge, so I just thought it would be fun if in one video I show you the quick unboxing, the progress and the post review of certain diamond paintings that I have in my stash. This is a really small one, Nefertiti from Diamond Arts Club, Manny Manzano round diamonds and well I'm going to show it to you then I'm going to show you the progress so that you can see that in the same video and at the end I'll have the post review for you guys so this one I have already unboxed on my channel I'll put a link over there so you can see the entire unboxing with all the ins and outs but this is the diamond painting that we're talking about Wow, never Titi. And this is a Diamond Art Club. It's a round. It's 32 centimeters by 58 centimeters. And we have 31 colors with one AB and three special drills. And the special drills go in here. I'll just show you the drills re really quickly. I'm not going to do a normal unboxing because the normal unboxing already is on my channel. This is just a quick recap. So I'm going to use the stickers to kit up my containers and these are the colors guys. But I'll just show you the special drills very quickly. These and these and there is another one. Oh, this one. This one and the AB drill. That's the extra sparkly one. That is 129. That's this one. And of course, I'm going to show you where they go on the diamond painting. I'll actually show it on screen, but these are the places that they go you see these these right so guys this is a first for me as well i'm going to kit up and i'm going to work on it i'm going to show it along the way so go check it out
So guys, I wanted to share something with you. I finished the first face. Look. <laughs> I did the entire outlining in black. So I did all the black from the entire painting. I thought that would be fun. So what I did, I only kitted up the first color. You see, only 310 and I had an extra 310 and there were three uh, large bags and I used two of them. And this is what I have left over of the third bag. That's quite a lot. So now I'm going to kit up the rest and then I'm going to continue and I'm going to do the outer part first and then I'm going to fill in never TT. Okay, and how did I manage to do this? Well, what I did is I turned the top layer back and just worked until well, oh, halfway through like this. And then I turned the painting and worked from here back till there. And what I did in order to make sure that I lead it, didn't lean on the painting with my arm, I just laid this, so I did like this. I started over here and as I worked my way up there, I just placed this like this and just moved like that. And that worked perfectly. And now it's still possible to keep the top layer on, although it does tend to get out of place. Oh. But I have the same, okay, I could use release papers, but guys, that doesn't stay on as well if you've done a certain part. So I'm just going to continue. And it's just a fun way to entertain yourself. <laughs> but I do think this looks fun. Look. Right guys, I'll be back once I've done the rest. So hi guys, I have another update. Look, I did all the surrounding areas and the bottom part and they're on the right. So now all that's left is this part, this and this. It's so much fun to do it just a little bit different. Look. Oh, and what I will do, I will do these special drills now. And then I'm going to finish this part. But I'll show you the entire thing now, like this. Look at the sparkle, guys. It's insane. That's what I still need to do. And that part and everything around it is done. Okay, let's do those special drills. Look, and I like to use Pretty placers. This here, diamond painting crayon, and this is Sunday's best. Hmm, and they smell really nice too. And then this one. That's really pretty. And, oh, sorry. And there. These pretty placers are perfect for these special drills and also for AB drills. Oh, 
Wow, those special drills are really cool. Okay. Well, guys, I'm just going to finish with the last area and then I'll be back for the post review. here she is our beautiful Nevertiti oh guys she's so sparkly I hope I was able to show you this was such a fun project I really loved the build-up so first the outlining then the outside parts and then to end with this part so much fun and the special drills are beautiful as well I just wanted to show you another way to work on it just to keep yourself entertained <laughs> and this was really easy to work on yes it's a lot of confetti but it's not a very big painting so if you want if you're just starting out and you want to try confetti which means quite a lot of color changes in a small area as you can see over here uh, then this is a nice size because you're starting out with like a Josephine wall diamond painting uh, and after well like a size well a section of this size you know if you're a confetti person or not <laughs> and well it would be a shame if you've got a really large diamond painting and like oh and I have to do the entire thing this is manageable so this is a great way to start with confetti and also it's around so it's really easy to work with i think it's just a really fun project i had quite a lot of leftover drills look each color um as you know if you've been around my channel i don't save my round colors but i give them to our girls for our projects i only save the the a b drills and there are not a lot of them so it was only one color the 129 just one thing because you've got your special drills those are really cute in there and over here um you could bling this one up you could just add i would add just little accents maybe over here and in there and i would have done the red uh, maybe you could have added a little bit of gold that's that's really easy you can just play with it and I've seen on Facebook and sorry I don't know who it was uh, I don't have them so for me it wasn't possible but if you have some spare round um, glow-in-the-dark drills you could do the white of the eyes in glow-in-the-dark I think that would for this never TD one I think that would be <laughs> really cool and uh, you know I'm not a fan of glow-in-the-dark drills because I don't get them uh, but someone commented on a video of mine said well glow-in-the-dark drills not only glow uh, when you put a special light on it but they glow either way even in daylight so okay if that's the case then well maybe there's something in it well I do have a kit in my stash with a lot of glow in the dark drills so once i get around to that we'll see but this kit is fun it's a bit of a snack size i'm sorry if people think that i'm being disrespectful by calling this a snack size but it's 32 by 58 i think it's the smallest kit no it's not it's almost the smallest kit that i have in my stash 
um, but I do really large projects guys so this was just an in-between um, what I meant to say is that this is a manageable size so if you're um, not used to doing large paintings then this is perfect I think and if you're if you are used to doing large paintings then this is a perfect snack size look I did this okay for me time wise how long did this take me well for me that's always impossible to say <laughs> because I do always work on large projects on the side so I did this in between but I must say that I did give priority to this one um, it took me I finished it in a week uh, but of course I didn't work a week on it so pretty quick okay right guys that was my three in one video a bit of a different format than you're used to let me know what you think would you like me to do more of these kinds of videos where I show you just a quick recap of an unboxing because you know in my stash I've got quite a lot of paintings that I already did an unboxing for maybe well half a year ago or something like that and then I'll show you some of the progress that I've made and I show you the post review in the same video is that something that you would appreciate or do you prefer a post review apart from the entire process I just thought this would be fun to do it's not that I'm going to do that with every painting, of course, but maybe every now and then. I would really love to know if that's something that you're interested in. If not, please let me know because... <laughs> well, I'm just trying to entertain myself. But um, if you are working through your stash, uh, maybe this is an idea just to mix it up a little bit. Okay, right guys, I'm really happy that this one is finished. Number seven of my diamond painting stash, Detox. Only 45 to go. <laughs> We're getting there. Okay, guys, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Like that. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs>